Yes, I got the highest score. How many tickets am I going to get? Oh, well that's not very good, is it? I mean, let's face it, I need about a thousand of these tickets before I can get a small stuffed toy. But that's okay, because I'm not gullible enough to go for a stuffed toy. If I want a stuffed toy, I'll buy one. So, this is a universal coin hand, coin uh, ticket door, should I say, it's not a coin door, it's a ticket door. Which has uh, various fixings in the back for the different uh, industry standards of ticket mechanisms and the, the ticket holders. This one dates back, This uh, the date in this is 1992. The mechanism itself, which was probably bought round about the same time... Um, oop, I've just pressed the button and vended a ticket. Has It's got a circuit board in the back, which has very traditional chips. It's got a... I'm guessing this is a, a transistor for driving the... Um, the motor. It's got SIM4HC132, SIM4HC123 and various discrete components. Uh, it's got a micro switch here for detecting when there are tickets in the machine and it's got an opto isolator on the back of the circuit board for detecting when the ticket, uh, the indents in the ticket, these little bits here, are passing. Uh, it's got an adjustment to allow the use of one inch tickets and one and five thirty tooths tickets, which is set for the wider ticket, which I guess is what these are. And to drive the ticket out, it's got rubber rollers, and then it's got quite ferociously teethed rollers in the bottom. Uh, toothed rollers would be a better word to describe that. And to stop people just ripping tickets out the front, it's got quite a clever feature. The motor drives with a belt onto this wheel here, which drives a worm shaft, a uh, worm drive, which then drives the wheel that actually uh, vends the tickets. But if I try and pull that ticket out, watch this uh, watch this little pole come down onto this uh, ratchet wheel. See it coming down onto it? And that locks it in place so I can't just drag tickets out the machine. And the way that uh, Paul works, it's quite clever. It's coupled with the worm drive because the worm drive will experience resistance as it's winding that wheel around and it can slide backwards and forwards. Um, and when it is winding the ticket out, it will tend to wind itself forwards and then drive the ticket out. But when you pull the ticket out and it tries to force that wheel around, then it pushes that latch down to actually stop it turning. It also grips the ticket quite tightly and puts what are called tyre marks on it. Now you'll see these tickets are nice and clean and smooth, but when it's been through the machine, it's got quite a coarse sort of toothed indent in it, and that's to stop people actually just uh, stealing blocks of tickets and just feeding them into the ticket counting machine. Um, this little orange LED is the signal to the machine that tells it it's out of tickets, and it will. Um, I don't know if it also mimics this on a, on this terminal. This terminal deals with the actual vending and when tickets have been vended and so on, the number that they've been counted out. Um, and when you uh, when it's run out of tickets, it doesn't matter if you press the test button; it won't vend a ticket at all because that switch needs to be pressed. And if I press that switch now to show it's got tickets in. It'll wind them, but it'll actually wind two out in this instance because it didn't detect the gap and it also it did stop after a while because it's got a timer that says, you know, it's taking too long for that ticket to be vended so there's something wrong there and it'll stop uh, vending them as well. So to reload it, you simply get the tickets, you shove the new ones down until you get down to the wheels, till it can't go any further and then push the button while putting a bit of pressure against it and it winds a ticket in and it's ready at that point to vend the tickets. So a similar mechanism is the... These date back to my arcade days. Uh, this is the Deltronic Labs um, version, which is very robust. It doesn't have that mechanism that I can see. It's, it's just got two very heavily toothed drives that mesh with each other and it really does put quite a, an indentation in the ticket. Um, I would show you this working but it's absolutely, the motor is, I don't know if it's the gearbox is dried up or whatever but it's just not, it's not uh, turning at all, it's uh, 
just seems to be drawing a lot of current and it just obviously if it got that starter boost it would actually work fine but it just seems to be um, maybe just a stiff with old age but in this case it's got a single chip it's got a rather oddly it's marked MM74C14N and you think oh well it's TTL and then underneath it says CD40106BCN which is a CMOS chip so it must just be a standard pinout for um for a, I'm guessing if I recall correctly that chip is a hex Schmidt inverter Schmidt trigger um yeah and it's got a wee test button in there as well a lot simpler this one quite a chunky robust one it looks actually more robust in a way than this one but uh, yeah this one's quite clever the mechanism it uses to actually uh, stop you dragging tickets out I think this one just relies on brute force and gripping it with a iron claw so to speak but yeah they're quite interesting mechanisms I've not seen a really modern one to see what they look like but um, the, knowing knowing the nature of the arcade industry and modern designs it'll probably be some cheap plastic mechanism I'm not really sure I'll have to maybe even look out for that and see if I can spot one